the Sticky Floor Friday, the internet movie show coming to you from, I guess, the back alley where they shot the Reservoir Dogs slow motion scene? <laughs> oh, stop, stop. We don't have time for that. We don't- You gotta bark all day, little doggy. Or you gotta bite. Alright, knock it off. We got a lot of movie news to talk about. <laughs> nice. Real mature, buddy. Real mature. Alright, let's talk about the news that happened this week. We got a first look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's big return to film in The Last Stand. And I gotta say, he looks pretty good, but damn it, Johnny Knoxville, what the hell is on your head? Stop ruining movies! Either that's a set photo or the weirdest Halloween ever. Now, we also saw the trailer for the 21 Jump Street joke movie, which has the screen debut of Deflated Jonah Hill. And yet, the very first joke in the trailer... Not so slim shady, what's up? Holy shit! Is a fat joke? Is that some sort of meta, out-of-date joke for an out-of-date movie, or just bad writing? We also had the reveal of the title of the next Bond film, which is... Skyfall. Which I guess means that Bond is now going to become an extreme skydiver? I don't know, what's worse, this or Quantum of Solace? At least Quantum of Solace is memorable. Something you can make fun of. This one, it's already, I just said it, I can't even remember what the hell it's called. And finally, in a marketing attempt to permeate every demographic quadrant of the entire United States, this happened. I saw JR and Miss Piggy talking for hours back. Hey! <laughs> Santino's ever had, right? Am I right? Wrestling jokes! Uh, that was for one person in the audience. Hope you enjoyed it. Alright, let's talk about the movies coming out this week. We're gonna start with Tower Heist, which is basically Ocean's 11, 12, and 13, but with the good-looking people replaced with comedic actors. Ben Stiller! Eddie Murphy! Matthew Broderick! Wow. I'm having trouble deciding which decade this movie would have had to have come out in order for me to be excited about it. It's definitely not this one. Let's see, in the 2000s, at least we had Ben Stiller in his prime with Royal Tenenbaums, Meet the Parents, Zoolander. Uh, but Eddie Murphy was making the worst movies of his career, and actually the worst movies of, like, all time, cinematically. Just terrible stuff. And Matthew Broderick was not making Ferris Bueller. Now, in the 90s, we had Ben Stiller blowing up with There's Something About Mary. But again, Eddie Murphy was in a slump until he pulled out a fat suit, and then things really got bad. Uh, and then we had Matthew Broderick... Still not making Ferris Bueller. Although he did make Election, which is a great movie, but that's not the decade either. How about the 80s? Well, Ben Stiller didn't really exist, but we had Eddie Murphy in his prime, and, yes, Matthew Broderick was making Ferris Bueller. So I guess, if I had a time machine, I would go back to 96 to 2001, scoop up Ben Stiller, send him back to the 80s, and then I would be really excited for time travel. I wouldn't care about Tower Heist, are you kidding me? Let's go to the future, man! <laughs> And finally, for those people who complain that Christmas starts way too early, we have, over a month and a half early, a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. And that's putting a lot of faith in Harold and Kumar's staying power, that they're going to be in theaters in another month and a half. But actually, maybe it's more for the benefit of stoners who are a little slow on the uptake, don't quite understand that the movie's coming out today, and then maybe in a month they'll just be like, Harold and Kumar, we should go see that, man. That's... <laughs> the worst stoner impression. Uh, they're really pulling out all the stops to keep this franchise alive. This movie is a gimmick entirely, and they're not afraid to just put it all in the title. I don't really like any of these movies, uh, but just like everyone else, I love the surprise of Neil Patrick Harris in the first movie. That was before How I Met Your Mother and before anybody knew how funny he was. But now, in the third one, I mean, he's everywhere. He's on the poster, he's in all the marketing, and I think it becomes a law of diminishing returns. Now with a movie like this, wait a second, what am I doing? Dissecting a stoner comedy? <laughs> Look, the only reason why you're gonna go see this movie is if you're existing on a different plane of consciousness. And to be honest, I'm not gonna do that because maybe I get way too paranoid, I don't know. Like maybe hypothetically there was a time I went and saw Return of the Jedi Special Edition uh, in the wrong state of mind, and my friend's parents were there, and they totally knew. I mean, everybody knew, but they definitely knew. And uh, then I went into the movie, and I started hallucinating. There was this scene where this weird, diseased, singing onion tried to kiss me, and it was just... Oh my god, that was real. 
Anyway, I'm definitely not seeing Harold and Kumar now. I may catch it on one foggy, hazy night on Netflix, but there's no way I'm going to a theater full of stoners who have a bunch of bags of munchies and are laughing at every reference to weed. That sounds like a nightmare. Even worse than Jedi Rocks. Alright, time for three questions. Number one, what do you think of the Bond title Skyfall? Is it a retelling of Chicken Little? An alien invasion movie? Or a TNT show starring Noah Wiley? What is that? Number two, what decade would you be excited for Tower Heist? And number three, are you going to go see Harold and Kumar? Sober. You gonna bark all day, little butt?